was good on my own, that's the way it was. That's the way it was. You was good on the love for a faded fuck. I'm so faded love. Shit, what the fuck you complaining for? Feeling daddy love. You so trippin'. What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. It's your girl Renee and I'm coming to you with a video that I have been wanting to see. Not necessarily um, on just YouTube but um, even on Instagram. Like I've been looking for like a golden goddess kind of glow kind of look and because um, I wanted to mimic someone else's look but I haven't really came across any like really true golden looks um, and I don't really want to incorporate any other colors so I want to keep it true to like a really bronzed golden kind of glow um, on the eyes and on the highlight of your cheeks and even the lips so um, I actually have some video footage of so well I have some actual photos that I've screenshot of some really cute kind of looks that I think are reminiscent of what I'm trying to go for but they don't quite make it all the way there so I have this photo that I found on Pinterest and I love her eye makeup and so I'm going to try to like do something like that where it's kind of smoky but then again it has like that golden look and then I was also inspired by uh let me see Um, this look which I think is like bomb her hair first of all but <laughs> the way that her contour is doing is not so sharp but it looks golden at the same time and then um, I just thought this was kind of cool as well so um, I'm gonna try to incorporate some of these kind of things um, but I like am in love with this like golden kind of summery look because I'm going to start priming my face what I'm using is the Smashbox Smashbox photo finish foundation primer why can I not say that um I got this from Sephora and it's just kind of like a I don't know if you can see that but it's like a really gel kind of consistency um and I'm gonna just put that in all of the areas in which I get the oiliest even on my lids foundation that I'm going to be using is from L'Oreal and because I want this glow glowy kind of skin I'm actually going to I'm actually going to go ahead and use the um true match foundation now you guys know I always use the L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation but because I want a little bit of a dewy skin not really but just a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and use the true match and so I love the true match color because it definitely blends in with the skin a lot um, well my skin tone and it's super blendable so I really really like this foundation I'm probably gonna use both colors the color that I'm using right now is Coco C8 and this one is um, in cappuccino N8 so they're pretty much the same color but one is cool and one is more of a, a neutral it's like foundation brush from wet n wild and just mix them together and then apply it to my skin Uh, next I'm going to go into my under eye concealer and highlight because I do it pretty much all in one and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this one is in color uh, Pure Beige and I'm just going to pull a lot of that product and just start working it under my eye. Just to avoid like creasing underneath your eyes you can go ahead and just not put the concealer directly like where your like lash line meets because that'll prevent the creasing and everything so to blend that in I'm gonna go ahead and use my expert face brush from um what <laughs> from real techniques <gasps> could not think of that okay and so I'm gonna go into my contouring and what I'm gonna use is what I always use the covergirl queen collection in um, color true ebony and I'm going to just apply that to my right in here <laughs> take some product and just swipe down my forehead just to contour I have a really big forehead I'm going to put some more on the jawline as well and then I'm going to blend that cream foundation out you guys know this is my new hair color and also my new haircut uh, 
I was going for that Christette Michelle hairstyle that she had a few years ago where she had it um, like a part but my part is kind of like I'm losing my part right now but um, where it was like really short on this side and really high so that really old school kind of look yeah and so on top of that concealer um, no, on top of that foundation, my contour, I'm going to go on top of that with the Black Radiance, which I always use in color rich mahogany. And I'm going to just set that cream foundation and blend it. What girls have been doing is setting underneath the concealer and setting it with like a pressed powder that's the same color of their skin tone or the same kind of color of the highlight and then putting the air spun or whatever translucent powder they have on top of that just to combat it from being so bright and so like you know kind of white that white cast you get um so i'm gonna try it and see if it works because sometimes i do get that like really white bright like super intense highlight and i'm not going for that so um just to pack this in i'm going to use the same brush i use for the um concealer and i'm going to use this is actually from covergirl it's the true blend and i'm using it in um number six this is translucent sable so let's see i'm just gonna pack my brush into the color tap off and then just pat it right on top of that concealer and it's really working well this color I thought originally was going to help me with um, setting my whole face but it's definitely a few shades lighter than um, my actual skin tone and I didn't realize that um, when I bought it I was hoping that it would match but it doesn't so it's perfect for my highlight and my my sponge is a little damp I wet it earlier so it's starting to dry but it's definitely still damp enough for um, this application and I do apply it heavily on the under eye area and then the forehead the nose and also my chin I don't apply it as heavily because I don't want for those areas to be so white First, I'm going to use this NYC palette. This is so old. I've had this forever, and it is called um, Union Square. It's, three, it's called 938 Union Square. Um, so this color right here, which is like almost gone, is a really nice transition brown color for my skin tone. So I'm going to use that to put all in my like crease area, transitional area. So I'm just going to actually not that golden one it's the one that's right between the gold and the like nude color so i'm going to pick up that one it's a really nice kind of nude brown really good transitional color okay so now that i have that kind of worked into my crease and transition um i think i'm going to start working on my like outer out, work outward in so um, I think I want to go ahead and use this nice rich kind of bronzy chocolatey color from the body shop it's called Coco Deluxe and I'm gonna just start working that all in my um, outer corner so I'm gonna go on top of that and um, kind of like a little bit further down though on top of that with this um, Sephora color that I showed you earlier I'm gonna pick up this fluffier brush just so I can distribute it a little a little carelessly not so like um, precise and just swirling it all around in that color and then I'm gonna put it right on top of that brown color we just applied Okay, and then I kind of want to go back into that nice bronzy brown color from the body shop. I'm going to take that first brush that I use, which is like a really big fluffy brush, and just dip it into it really slightly. As you can see, it just like picks up so much color. And then just take it right on that outer V and just blend again right on top of that goat. okay and so this is what my eyes are looking at so far and so next i want to actually go into that ColourPop color that i was saying that really like is super pigmented but it has a little bit of fallout i'm going to actually use that on the inside of my eye and so i'm using this synthetic flat brush
Okay, and so these are my eyes right now with the um, more glittery color on top of it. And so just to intensify that like smokier outer V, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Studio Fix and I'm using color NW58. This is a foundation, but if you watch my previous videos, you know that I like to use this guy right in my eyes and my crease or on my outer V because this color is way too dark for me. Um, I was using it as a contour, but it just was not the business. So I'm going to take this really small, fluffier brush and just dip it into that product. It is super pigmented, of course, so I don't want to pick up too much. And then on top of that, I'm going to go right back into that uh, Body Shop shadow and just pick up some of that bronzier color and put it right on top. Because that, um, that foundation that I just used is a little more gray smoky than I would like for it to be um, for this eye look. So, Okay, so I'm going to take this really large fluffy brush and it's from Sonia Kashuk. It's really old. And I'm going to just dust lightly in that crease area just to blend it out. I don't want for it to have any like harshness going on. Because I still want it to be like a really nice goddess glow going on. So next I'm going to wipe off the baking translucent powder. And I'm just using this really nice flat kind of dense brush and I'm just going to slide on my chin. Okay, so for my under eye, I think I'm going to go ahead and use that really nice, rich kind of bronze brown color. And then I'm going to take like a pencil brush and I'm going to be using this one and just picking it up right on the edge of the brush, some of that product, and then just dusting it right underneath my eyes. Okay, so, sorry, had a call, um, but I ended up putting um, the gold shadow from Sephora right in my inner tear duct area and also underneath my eyes, and then I also ended up contouring my nose, so that is done. I just used the Black Radiance uh, press powder that I used to, um, yeah, that I used, and so I'm going to go ahead and um, just line my eyes with this white liner and I just thought that may give it a pop and give it a more of an like awakened kind of glow so I'm going to do that right on my waterline so it definitely gives me like an awakened look but it took forever um so I'm going to go ahead and use my mascara. So the one I'm going to be using today is from Maybelline. Well, the first coat probably. The Maybelline Colossal. Okay, so I have on the first coat of mascara. And I do say the first coat because I do plan on using more mascara. But I like chill for a second so um i just want to blend that um kind of makeup underneath the eye okay so now that my eyes are pretty much done um i have my mascara on i am going to go ahead and kind of touch up my brows just a little bit because i feel like powders have gotten on top of them so i'm going to just go back into my elf palette real quick and also use a spoolie because i feel like spoolies help brush out some of that powder Okay, and so it's set. Now I'm gonna go into highlighting and blush and bronzing and all those things. So, um, I do have this lovely bronzer. It's from Ruby Kisses and I love it. It's in color uh, Bronze Glow. It's an all over bronzing powder. So I do have that one that I really kind of want to use. I also have my amazing Champagne Pop um, Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca and Jaclyn Hill. And then I have this, oh, 
really beautiful uh, bronzer that is from Black Radiance. So I think what I'm going to do is go in with this bronzer as my actual blush kind of. And so I'm going to just pick that up and put it in the areas I wish I would put my blush. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with this, uh, with the Ruby Kisses, Ruby Kisses bronzer and just put that all in the areas I want to highlight. So I'm definitely glowing now um, and I don't think actually I'm going to use the champagne pop because it's um, just going to be way too many bronzers on my face. So uh, next I'm going to go into my lips and what I'm going to be using is the um, lip pencil from NYX and this is in color Urban Cafe and I'm going to just line my lips So I'm pretty much aligned the entire lip um, and I'm going to put on top of it this Milani lip color. I love this lip color. It's double espresso and it's definitely like a nice brown color but then it also has like some specks of gold in it so it's really rich and pretty. So this is the finished look. I'm going to just spray my face down with this NYX matte finish spray. And then just in case that wasn't enough, <laughs> I'm going to go on top of it with this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And so that is the finished makeup look. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Honestly, it was fun to do. I love this bronzy, golden kind of look. Yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and um, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like this video.